So Fred Kelly is the 100 meter world champion. It's a very, very interesting journey for him. In fact, he was a 400 meter runner until last year. He only changed from 400 meters to 100 meters last year. Then he took part in the Olympics and he was supposed to win per the form guide. He went mm -hmm. to the Olympics, he lost out to Marcel Jacobs. He started this year very well, world lead. He came into this. In fact, he recorded the quickest heat. He was the quickest in the semifinals and he gets here. And we always talk about championship performance. You have to do it at the championships. It's not just um, the times that you do before the majors. When you get to the majors, you have to perform. And he got there in front of his home crown and he did not let them down. Yeah, I think when, when you're a world star and there's a lot of expectations on your hand, yeah. um, you need that defining moment where at the crunch of it, at the apex of competitions, you put on, you put on that confidence and perform. Yeah. And that's what he did. And nothing beats winning in front of your home, your home crowd. It's a clean sweep for the Americans too. And now he has put his... He has put his claim down that, okay, when the world stage, when the lights are brightest and all those things and the pressure is on, he's able to perform. Yeah. You, would, you would want to see what he would do next. Can he, can he do it on the Olympic stage now? Then you know that, okay, you've done it at the world championships, you've done it at the Olympics. But then it's, it's, it's very nice to see, I mean, it's a clean sweep for the USA. The competition is being done at their home. The crowd is... Is in there, and then they are cheering all. Do, they are cheering the, the the athletes on. It's nice to see in the sense that when the home team have their they have their competitors or they have their people performing well, it drives crowds into the the stadium. So we know COVID and all those things where we miss the atmosphere, yeah. and then it brings them back in, and Very it's important. it kind of gears the other athletes onto, and then it creates a great aura for the for the competition. But kudos to the American team, clean sweep. It's sad that we didn't see any Ghanaians out there, <laughs> but, but then what can we say? Yeah, um, so, so I'll, I'll take your thoughts on the on the um, on, on the part of the Ghanaian team. Uh, we had two guys in the uh, Joe Paul, Joseph Paul Amwa, and Benjamin uh, Benjamin Azamati going into the individuals. Both of them went out um, at the heats, um, first round of um, qualifying, and they they dropped out there. Quite disappointing, especially if you look at the sort of times. If you are narrowing it down to Azamati, you look at the times that he's posed this season. It's quite disappointing he couldn't make it past the heat. Yeah, it looks like he might have frozen a bit. You know, he was in like top 10 for times, I believe, going yeah. into the competition. So yeah. we thought that at least the heat shouldn't have been a problem. But it's, ju it's just how it is. And honestly, we don't see Ghanaians do well that often. So I wouldn't even say it's a disappointment. It's, to be fair, we don't see them even go to the World Championships as often anymore. Maybe in the 60s and 70s, we had some sprinters doing things, going to the Olympics. But nowadays, we don't see much of our sprinters. So it's good they are at least at the level that they can get to the World Championship. But we really need to push on. I mean, it's the same way, you know, when we started trying to qualify for the World Cup, when eventually we went, we were going to the round of 16 and that kind of stuff. We want to push for it. We want to impress. And we need a bit more investment and, you know, because how much support are they really getting yeah. from the country and the government? So I think they are doing very well. They go to school in America. All their training is being done in America. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen when they are done with school? So we have to really think about these things. I'm not too upset because considering what we have given them and what they have produced they've they basically made them um, go dust out of debt so we just have to congratulate them for getting to their competition it's disappointing you know we're a proud nation we want our people to do well it didn't happen that's unfortunate but once there's no support i can't really come and say that they should have done this they should have done that mm -hmm. and hold like some hold them to a certain yeah. standard going there alone is enough so uh, but uh, just going back to Kelly and the Americans, I think it's very impressive. And I think Kelly has the same, you know, we've seen both also started in the 400. Kelly also. So maybe there's something about training <laughs> the 400 before you go into the sprints to give yourself some extra stamina and that kind of stuff. So maybe be. maybe you should get our people to start the 400 before. <laughs> it could be. It could be. The but it's, it's, I, 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 I like your point on, on the Azamati issue because, look, it's... It's, it's something that we've always cried for. Um, during the world release, we spoke about the support that some of these guys need. Um, he's a student athlete. Uh, these are guys who, he's competing against guys who are very experienced. You look at Kelly, he's been to world championships, he's been to Olympic Games. These are very, very, very experienced guys at the top of the game who have all the financial monetary support that they have just to make sure that they are crafted as it's at its peak. So um, if we want to compete with them, then we also need to start putting in some more effort. And to be fair, this was just um, Azamati's second major. His first major was last year's Olympics. This was his second major. Sometimes it takes you time to be able to get used to that stage before you can start getting your, your, your best times and your best performances under your belt. So yes, it's a good start. And the, the good thing is also that 
It's not over. The relays are at the end of the week. Um, Ghana is in the relays, the 4x100 relays. And we know the promise that this team um, has. So we just hope that um, in the Olympics, they beat the United States and made it to the final. So um, anything can happen in the release. Anything yeah. can happen. And we just keep our fingers someone crossed. Someone can drop a baton. Any, step on exactly. Any, anything can happen. So we just <laughs> no, hope we are that. grasping at luck. <laughs>